or is friction to stop a moving object a force must act in the opposite direction to the direction of motion for instance if you push your book across your desk the book will move right the force of the push moves the book now as the book slides across the desk it slows down and stops moving Now the force that opposes the motion of that object i mean of the book is called friction now if you make it more simpler then friction basically is the resistance to the motion of one object moving relative to the another and it is not a fundamental force like gravity or electromagnetism instead scientists believe that it is the result of the electromagnetic attraction between charged particles into touching surfaces therefore friction is very essential to our life and the reason why friction is very important to our world is because it affects almost everything that's in motion when any object is moving slipping or sliding in one direction friction always acts in the direction opposite to it i have some interesting paradigms that what if there was no friction i know that this will definitely amaze you so let's start fact 1 we won't be able to turn pages by the right anything when writing with a pencil or a pen friction is must Without friction, the pen slips out of your hand, and the pencil lead would not make any mark on the paper. Due to friction, the papers of the ink and the lead would not stick to the paper and get locked. So, if there would be no friction between the paper, pen, or the pencil, the ink and the lead would not stick to the paper, and we won't be able to write anything. Fact two: We won't be able to walk, slip, or slide. Friction force slows us down. Definitely does, but it also helps us in moving, right? So if it is even eliminated we won't be able to walk or run on any of the surfaces we want so for example when we walk or run on the ground we push the ground in the backward direction right and as a reaction the ground pushes us in the forward direction and that reaction force the ground is nothing but of course the friction force i'm talking about fact 3 we won't be able to burn matchsticks to start fires and the burning of a matchstick would not be possible without friction and it is because it is difficult to light a matchstick by striking it on a smooth surface because enough friction won't be possible right when you rub a matchstick on a smooth surface because it won't produce sufficient amount of heat required to burn a matchstick fact fourth you can't drive in this case stopping yourself will be easier definitely would be but stopping other objects like cars and bike won't be possible engines and cars will work but your brakes won't work So even though friction is thought of a force that opposes the motion of an object but the motion of a car would not be possible without friction fact 5 objects will continue to accelerate there will not only be the lack of friction between the surfaces but there will also be the lack of air resistance and due to less molecular friction so if you push off something even with a very small acceleration you will continue accelerating until you hit something very hard and this is how rocket propulsion works a rocket throws exhaust gas in one direction and in return it gets a push from the backward direction fact 6 you can't pick anything up and it is because your ability to grip and pick things up is due to friction anything you were holding on to at the moment friction ceased to exist would instantly fall on the ground or fly out of your hand fact 7 Anything entering Earth's surface from the outer space will hit the Earth at astronomical speeds. Meteors, yes, meteors. They were not born in the Earth's atmosphere, and that is due to lack of molecular friction. Extinction causing events would be possible on the day. Everything that enters the Earth's surface will surely almost hit the Earth at astronomical speeds. Fact eight: Entire agriculture system will crumble. Soil would not be able to hold together. That is with the loss of friction, which means that the entire global agriculture system could practically grind to a halt. Fact nine: If there is no friction, then we cannot get sunlight from the sun. Fact ten: If there is no friction, we cannot fly by airplane or by helicopter either, and we won't even be able to generate energies, even heat energy, thermal energy, hydro energy, solar energy, wind energy. all of these will not be possible for if there is no friction to go even further we have to go deeper in the universe as it currently exists we have to look into the quantum friction is one of the main interaction of forces between atoms and the particles nearly everything around us is held together to friction by molecular and quantum level 
So without friction, materials will have almost no resistance to sharing forces and the world will become almost a homogeneous, featureless blob.